Okay, I want to start off by saying tonight's outfit is brought to you by Kim Possible. <laughs> okay, moving on. Tonight for dinner, we had these ingredients on hand and we figured what can we make with them. So we have some chicken thighs, cauliflower fried rice, marsala simmer sauce from Trader Joe's, but any simmer sauce or marsala sauce would work, and then some coconut cream. So Matt's chopping up some garlic and some shallots, and chicken. our plan is to brown the chicken thighs first and then pour this sauce over it so they can simmer in it. So we wanna brown them first so they get some texture and crunch, and then simmer, pour this over it so they can cook and simmer. And then we'll throw some coconut milk in it, or coconut cream in as well. And then we will just some cauliflower rice too and do like just half and half. And yeah, that's our plan right now. So figured I would show you what we're making. We have the garlic and shallots just cooking up in some avocado oil. Get it nice and brown until they're fragrant and then you add the chicken thighs, like we said, to crisp up and then we'll add the sauce. Skin side down. And we put a bunch of spices on both sides of the chicken thighs. We did salt, pepper, turmeric, ginger, garlic, cumin, paprika, onion powder, and then the vegan chicken, chickenless sausage, seasoning salt. So there is not gonna be any shortage of flavor in this dish. So the chicken thighs are still cooking. I just poured the cauliflower rice onto a pan with some uh, cooking spray. I'm just gonna saute this. Yum. That turmeric really gives it a nice yellow color. Oh. Ooh, yum. Woo. And then, we'll, yeah, we'll just add all the sauce to that. Okay, so we added about what, two thirds of the simmer sauce and then about a third of a can of the coconut cream and a little bit of water as well. So the chicken is just gonna simmer in it now. And this is still cooking. We cook this in a separate pan because we want the cauliflower to like crisp up and not get soggy. It looks so good. All right, so the cauliflower rice is done. We just put turmeric, black pepper, uh, ground ginger, and I think that's all I put in to season it. Oh, a little uh, paprika as well. A tip, if you're gonna put turmeric into something, you have to put black pepper in as well to make, uh, to activate it. So make sure you're always pairing your black pepper with turmeric. So this is what the chicken is looking like. So I have it simmering. And this is again the mixture of simmer sauce and coconut milk. So easy and good. Cauliflower rice, chicken thigh on top, and then it's gonna top it with some of the sauce. Oh, ho, 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 baby. Wow, and that's the finished product. Dinner tonight. We're gonna put some sauce on it, and we're gonna top it with some parsley. Salt bay action. Oh, yeah. Thanks, babe. Woo! Also, side note, if you've never tried the Key Lime LaCroix, it's life-changing. <laughs> Just side note. Tastes like candy. Ooh. Yum. All right. Great work tonight, baby. You guys, this is phenomenal. You need to try it right now. Right? So good. Yeah. It tastes like we have Indian takeout. Oh. So easy. And delicious. And if you don't have cauliflower rice, you can do regular rice as well. It's just a lower carb option. So, yum. 
So I have these Beyond Meat burgers. I've had them in the freezer for a while. So I'm gonna just throw these in the air fryer. And I'm gonna make like a Big Mac salad. So we have sugar, or no sugar added ketchup, spice brown mustard, some pickles, onion, tomato, and then just the rest of the spring mix. And that is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna build it all, put it all together. My, my, I feel like every time I film, I say my mouth is watering, but literally my mouth is watering. So I'm going to get going on this and I'll show you the final product. So for my dressing, I decided to get a little creative and Matt has made this before in the past. It's the Shake Shack burger sauce. So all it is is spicy or just mustard, ketchup, pickle juice, cayenne, and usually it's mayo, but I figured I'd just use a little of this Greek yogurt. And this is the final product. So I'm gonna use that as my like Big Mac sauce. Here's the salad so far. Just have the onions, pickles, and tomatoes over the greens. And then let's check on the burger. Oh yeah, I should probably flip this. The burger, I also just flatten it out a little bit because I like them really thin and crispy. Put it back in. I'll probably, again, raise the heat. So this was 350 for 15 minutes. Probably raise the heat at the end just to crisp it up a little bit, but that's where we're at. Okay, so I put it to 400 for like three minutes just to finish it off. That's what it looks like. So, this one hand, I'm going to Oh my God, put the burger on the salad. I'm gonna season it with some pepper and some garlic powder. I also added some sriracha to the sauce because I love spicy and it gave it like the perfect kick. Season. A little bit. Add the sauce, the dressing, and then I'll mix it all up. And that <laughs> is a healthier version of a Big Mac. There you go. All right, I'm gonna enjoy. All right, so for tonight's dinner, we're gonna make egg roll in a bowl. Essentially, just take like any cruciferous crunch or like a coleslaw-based salad, and you just put it in the pan. I put some sesame oil, and you're just gonna cook this down with some like coconut aminos and then until it gets wilted. We scrambled up some egg as well, we're gonna add in. And then in the air fryer, I just have some chicken sausage cooking up that I'm going to add in there as well. And then it's like a little egg roll in a bowl. Here is the final product with the chicken sausage, the Christopher's Crunch mix all cooked down with the egg, some coconut aminos, sriracha, and then topped with everything but the bagel seasoning. Such an easy, quick, delicious meal. And also, if you have those, if you have those salad kits that come with like the coleslaw salad and the dressing and the toppings, if you ever have one that you have leftover salad with because you use the toppings too early, you can use that as well. Just throw it in here and it works just the same. And tonight we're having Rice, cauliflower, and salmon. Half of it in a pan with some broccoli, and then I also cracked an egg in there. And then we also are just doing salmon fillets in the air fryer. We did the fish setting. It was 350 for eight minutes. So let's check on our fish. Oh, baby. We uh, marinated them in some of the sauces. So some soy sauce, some sriracha. <laughs> Don't mind Matt's Budweiser everything but the bagel seasoning. This is that Korean hot sauce that is insanely, insanely, insanely hot. If you, I, I'm not gonna even recommend this to anyone because I feel bad about that. And then some green jacket sauce. So that's what we made in our salmon in and it's looking delicious. We are going to put the whole meal together and I will show you when it's done. Okay, so here is the finished product. We have the salmon and the cauliflower rice. Again, we added broccoli and egg to this. I'm just gonna top it off with some everything but the bagel seasoning, probably some extra sriracha, and then we are eating good. Eating good. In the neighborhood. In the neighborhood. <laughs> Thanks, man. I had a thought from people who don't eat fish, because some of my friends don't eat fish, and they watch my videos. We did this with chicken thighs the other night, so just do the same marinade 
on some chicken thighs and then bake them in the air fryer on your chicken setting. And it's just as good, I promise. All right, I'm gonna get back to eating. This is so good. For dinner tonight, we are making turkey burgers. So Matt's actually making them. He in the bowl has some green onion and an egg right now. We're gonna add the turkey meat. Um, he's also adding some garlic. And then for toppings, we have pickles, some, what is it, American cheese. I have onion, Matt doesn't like onion, fun fact. Um, <laughs> raw onion, I love raw onion. I can literally eat it plain and it's like the grossest thing to him. Comment uh, if you like onion or if you hate it like Matt does because I feel like it's very polarizing. Then we're just gonna do some cauliflower gnocchi on the side, kind of like tater tots. Um, and then ketchup and mustard, and then he's also gonna put some Worcestershire sauce in there as well. And then we have a little griddle over there that we're just gonna sear them off on, but yeah, this is a lower carb option for some turkey burgers since we have the bread thins and cauliflower gnocchi. I'll show you the finished product. All right, so the cauliflower gnocchi are in the air fryer. I do 350 for about 12, minutes and then I crank up to 380 for like another two or three minutes just to get brown and I'm also gonna throw these uh, little thins in here as well just to toast up and then what we like to do is toss our cauliflower gnocchi so we'll just spray a little avocado oil some salt and pepper this is actually uh, salt from Japan my mom got for me fun fact my brother is living in Japan right now for the past year and then a little Parmesan cheese as well. But we've done like buffalo cauliflower before with Red Hot, Frank sauce on it, get creative. Oh, the Parmesan, garlic, parsley, you can do truffle. All right, so these are done. They look really brown, oh, it's really hot. Can you hear the sizzle? They're super crispy, delish. All right. I'm just gonna spray it. You don't wanna spray too much because it'll make them soggy, so just enough. Just a little, a little bit. And then some salt and pepper. Let me throw these in here. Just start it. I'm not gonna keep it in for 15 minutes. Maybe like one to two minutes. That did some pepper. A little salt bay action. And a little parmesan. And you just toss. Yum, it tastes like tater tots and it's like a low carb side you can do. All right, so we have two of the turkey patties. I have ketchup and mustard underneath here. Add some lettuce. I'm not gonna do cheese on mine because these are 85, or 85, 15. So they're a little higher fat, so I'm gonna omit the cheese. I'm gonna add some cauliflower milk in the side. And that is dinner. I'm not sure if I'll eat the second one, but we made four, so we figured. Yum. So good, quick, easy. Bone apple titty. Asian marinated salmon. What did you marinate it in? Tell the people. Fake soy sauce. Coconut aminos. Okay. Sriracha. Rice wine vinegar, sesame oil, sriracha, your hottest yeah. hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Garlic, green onion, chopped up in there. Um, everything but the bagel. Um, everything but the bagel a little bit. And maybe a bit. Oh, and Mike's hot honey. Oh, Mike's hot honey, yum. Which one do you want? Um, the small one. And then we're just putting it over some like Asian crunch salad. Asian crunch salad. I whipped them up. That's what they look like. It's just this from Trader Joe's, but they sell these salad kits anywhere. And this one I looked, the um, dressing is pretty low sugar. So we like this one, it tastes delicious. We didn't use all the dressing. Um, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I always cut these salads. So I would do like half Spring mix, just to add in some more dark leafy greens and some more nutrients. And then it also prolongs this salad kit because these aren't cheap, obviously. So what I do is just like half and half. So I think I probably made 
Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter. Three or four salmon or salads out of this one, out of these two. So here is the final product. <laughs> and yes, we're eating out of Tupperware right now because they're the best size salad bowls that we have. But yeah, it has just peanuts in it, some uh, fried ramen or rice noodles. And what's cool about if you've never had those bag salads before, every ingredient comes separately. So like if you have a peanut allergy, you, you can omit those. Um, it's a nice like peanut dressing as well. Looks so good. And we just air fried the, <coughs> excuse me, air fried the salmon in our air fryer on the fish setting. So comes out perfect every time. For tonight's okay, for tonight's dinner, we have a completely frozen dinner. It is low carb shrimp and grits. So these are the best shrimp from in the world, actually. <laughs> They're the Argentinian red shrimp. They're raw, deveined, detailed, ready to cook, and they're ginormous. I don't know if you can see them that well in here. They're giant. They take on like a lobster texture. And thaw a couple of these and then I air fry them. And then we also have some mashed cauliflower as the grits. You can get mashed cauliflower anywhere. You can even make your own. It doesn't have to be from Trader Joe's. This is just where I shop, so that's where all my stuff is from Trader Joe's always. So I get a lot of comments on, I don't have a Trader Joe's near me. You don't need a Trader Joe's. Uh, I've seen mashed cauliflower at Walmart, H-E-B, Jewel, wherever you live. I've seen mashed cauliflower, cauliflower gnocchi, you know. The whole thing. And then we just have these French green beans. These are amazing and they're so long. And this whole bag is only $1.99 at Trader Joe's. It's not organic, but just a great staple to have. So again, a completely frozen meal, high protein, low carb, get some greens in, some fiber. And it looks super fancy when we're done. So I will show you how we make it. We've also made this with salmon as well. So salmon on this, but I've had a little too much salmon this week. Oh, we're going shrimp. All right, so we're cooking. I ha I preheated the air fryer just for five minutes while my shrimp are defrosting, just because it makes cook time quicker. Matt's not having shrimp, he's having salmon because we had some defrosted. I just run, uh, I have like four shrimp in here, which is under some cold water to defrost really quick. We have the mashed cauliflower defrosting in the pan, and then we're just steaming some of those green beans. Um, into the mashed cauliflower, we like to add some Greek yogurt to make it a little creamier, some garlic powder, paprika, black pepper, and I just sprayed the pan with some avocado oil. Very simple. And Matt's gonna cook his salmon in the cast iron with some avocado oil. I'll just season these with some, well, I'll show you. I like getting a really thick seasoning on my shrimp like a dry rub, so they crisp up really nicely in the air fryer. So I'm just gonna dry them off. Dry off my shrimp. Sorry, we still have this puzzle that we have not even started yet. It's pretty intimidating. So take your shrimp. Again, these are already, they're raw, they're deveined, and they're, their tail's off, so they're ready to cook. So I just dry these off. Like so, and let's go to the spice cabinet. Garlic, cayenne, do some Old Bay. Cause we have that, what else? Some onion powder. Mm. I think that's what all. Oh, duh, slap your mama. Don't even spray them or anything since they are still a little wet, the seasoning sticks really well. And I'm just gonna douse them in the seasoning. This looks like a lot, I know. <laughs> but it's gonna give it a really nice, like, crust. Onion powder. And slap your mama. And garlic. And then I just press that in. And then the other side I just rub on the seasoning that's still. You can do this in a bowl as well and just toss them. But then you just kind of dab them. Pick up all that good seasoning. Give it a nice crust. I'm not adding any extra salt because 
Old Bay and the Slap Your Mama have some salt in it already. So just be mindful of that. All right, now we're gonna take these over to the air fryer. And you'll hear, it's, since I preheated it, it's a little hot, it's gonna be a little sizzle. The shrimp are nicely seasoned. Going in the air fryer. My air fryer is awesome. I can link it again down below because it has a shrimp setting. So I'll just hit the shrimp, 376 minutes, go. And then it'll tell me, it'll beep in a little bit and tell me to flip them. So that's going. That salmon's going. The cauliflower is defrosting and the green beans are still steaming. All right, the shrimp are done. They're super crispy and crunchy. You can't, I don't know if you can tell, but the air fryer just, I flipped them halfway through. And then mashed cauliflower with the seasoning and the Greek yogurt. And then our green beans are done as well. That's that. All right, here is the final meal. It looks so good. Shrimp and grits, but low carb with cauliflower rice or cauliflower mash green beans. We just put some salt and pepper and a little bit of butter on the green beans, but this looks so good.